when Samsung launched DeX and the dock back in 2017, I saw a vision for the future. A laptop shell with a screen and all you need to power it is your phone. Seven years later, I stand here with that about to become a reality. Perhaps even better than I thought it ever could be. Thanks to the Uperfect X14 Pro, today I stand here with the Samsung DeX laptop. Almost. Let's go. So, Uperfect sent me out the X14 Pro dock, wireless laptop, I should say, to check out and review. Initially, I thought this is something that I've been wanting to try for a while, ever since the first sort of concepts of this came through. But this one truly caught my eye because they promised it to be completely wireless. Before we get into the thoughts of the operational side of things and how DeX works functionally with this, let's talk a little bit about the product's design and the initial unboxing experience, because that's important for a product that you want to be using. The unboxing was a little bit underwhelming in terms of the packaging wasn't premium and it definitely didn't have branding on it to sort of give you the fact that this was a Uperfect laptop. That all kind of got swept aside because the actual build quality of this is actually quite nice initially. It's a metal chassis and it seemed robust enough out of the box, which I was in, which I was very pleased with. Fast forward a little bit, after a little bit of use, the hinge isn't quite as, I guess, stable as you would think. However, it does rotate all the way around, so it does have that 360 control. So I'll give it a bit of a pass of that, even if there's a little bit of floppiness about it. What I actually really appreciate is how nice they've made the keyboard and the trackpad. It's not frictionless completely, but there is enough friction with the trackpad to still give you that sort of smooth ride. And the keyboard is surprisingly nice to type with, no matter what sort of environment you're in, whether you're sitting in bed or whether you're typing on a desk. The display is a 1080p panel. It's a little bit flat. However, I am quite spoiled for displays when it comes to Samsung DeX in particular. I have the Espresso monitor here, and I also have my Samsung Viewfinity S9, as well as using the frame TVs that I have in my house to launch decks. That being said, it did feel a little bit flat in comparison to those. Isolated on its own, it's actually quite nice to use for the purpose that I have found myself using this for. Mostly what I've been using this for really is some light productivity around the house and a little bit on the go, just using my S24 Ultra or my Z Fold 5. Its design as well has got various ports. So obviously you can see that it's got things like headphone jack. You've got your power input on this side, as well as a micro SD card slot and then your power button. Flipping it around to the other side, you've got a single USB-C, which is your input for plugging in your DeX and a mini HDMI port here for you to be able to plug into should you need that. All the cables come in the box too, which I found quite nice. They've overloaded you with cables in the box with the product, which has come in handy. Okay, let's get into the function. So this thing boots up by using the power button and it has a, some software in here, obviously, to show you a bit of a launch screen. This screen has instructions on how to connect a device wirelessly because this thing has Bluetooth and that's really magic because you can Bluetooth your keyboard and your trackpad to a phone or a device to actually operate using this keyboard and trackpad. It also has instructions in the bottom right corner of how you can access the settings, because this is a touchscreen as well. So you can do a two finger swipe down, which I initially thought was unreliable until I realized I was two finger swiping up. Classic user error problems because it is a two finger swipe down and it launches every time from that point on. There's various controls and settings in here that you can enable brightness toggles and turning off charging the device that's connected, for example. They're all in there. You honestly don't need to mess with these too much. It's pretty good as standard out of the box. With this laptop, you have two ways that you can connect Samsung DeX. The first is through cable, which is pretty standard. Using the cable that comes in the box, plug it in to the device and plug it into the phone and DeX will launch. Using the pass-through with the cable, the keyboard and the trackpad work very seamlessly to control and interact the DeX environment. Touchscreen works too, if you prefer that type of method of interaction. The wired connectivity too will also charge the device. So you can be sure using the laptop's 10,800 million power battery that it will keep your phone juiced up as you're using it for Samsung DeX. Quite peace of mind. It, what I can tell, the battery life's actually quite good. I have just been using it around the house to sort of test it, but also actually using it properly because this has given me great function to use in different spots around the house. The thing with the wired connection that I was worried about, or it feels a little bit awkward, is the cable. It just sits in there, it's a little bit awkwardly, and when you're sitting on your lap in bed, 
it can be a little bit awkward as you sort of see the cable move up, but it doesn't break the connection and the cables that they send you are quite strong. So I wouldn't be too worried about that. The cable performance is also the strongest connection. So it'll give you the smoothest interaction using Samsung DeX. And if that's your preference, you'll get the fastest sort of way of, of moving around DeX using the cable. However, for a more convenient use case with Samsung DeX, this offers wireless DeX. If you know the power of wireless DeX, if you've watched my everything you can do with Samsung DeX video, you'll know how convenient wireless DeX can be. But you've never tried convenience with Samsung DeX until you've used it wirelessly with a laptop. The wireless DeX solution is what kind of prompts you when you first boot this up. And just the same way you would launch wireless DeX to a TV, you do it here as well. It shows up in your connected DeX devices as, a, as an option. And when you click on it, it launches DeX on the dock which is crazy. Now you do have to connect the Bluetooth keyboard and mouse before you do this process. Otherwise, you'll just have to rely on touch screen and no. So go into and follow the prompts that are on the boot screen to make sure the trackpad and the keyboard get connected. The wireless performance is good enough. There is some slight input lag, which you'll have to just navigate your way around. But for the convenience of carrying no cables and for the quick interactions that this can offer you, it's actually kind of great. I myself like using it just to quickly type up notes for a script that I'm working on or for trivia that I'm working on as well. Especially when I've got kids around or I'm in bed, I don't have to go fire up the laptop, which seems very intentional. This can give me that quick hit. Everything's on my phone already and I use DeX to control it. I really like the touchscreen aspect of this though as well. And that's what I liked about the Espresso 15 too, is that you can touch and interact with DeX, which is kind of natural, especially as we're used to touchscreens on our phones. Now, I don't need to say anything more about Samsung DeX than I already have. I've got multiple videos on the channel describing DeX and how to use it. But as a concept, I love this thing. It just gives me this next level of productivity and portable productivity that I can sort of move around my house without needing to really think about it too much. I keep a lot on my phone, whether it be ideas for videos, whether it be planning our next family holiday, because we are now going somewhere soon. It's great to be able to have this, to be able to take things that are on my phone and put it onto a bigger screen and interact with it with a keyboard and mouse. As a father of two who works from home, time is at a premium. I work in and around the family schedule because that is my priority. However, I still need to get work done. And this offers me the opportunity to pick it up when I'm in bed and just type away when I need to. It gives me that flexibility and freedom that potentially I wouldn't have otherwise. Now, I could just use my phone screen, but for things that require a bigger canvas, this is where this comes in. It's such an easy product to access. And because of the instant nature of DeX, it gives me that sense of efficiency that maybe I don't really feel like I have if I didn't have something like this. As I said, I love the portable nature of the Espresso display and how that can give me opportunities when I travel on the go, for example. It gives me like a, a desk setup, a desktop setup even. But this gives me something a little bit different. This means that around the house, I can work on the lounge, I can work in bed, and I don't have the restrictions placed on me based on the phone size that I have. I have this bigger display to work with. What I will say about this in final thoughts is that it's not executed to perfection, but the proof is here that this concept can work. What you perfect have created is quite a premium build quality. It feels sturdy enough. It's got a very large internal battery and a display that will get the job done. But there are things that could be worked on. You could have an AMOLED screen, for example. You could have a thinner body because it's a laptop that doesn't need to be thicker than a traditional laptop, but I understand because it's got a big battery in here. A shell with a screen that uses the power of your phone, I'm on board. I want to thank you, Perfect, for sending this product to, out to me. They have not paid me for this review. However, they are offering you a special deal and a special discount code for you to take advantage of. There's a link in the description for you to utilize. If you want to save some money off your own Uperfect laptop yourself, you can use the code TECHWB40 to get $50 off your order over $300 and tech WB70 to get $70 off your order. That's above $500. Use the link in the description and hopefully you can pick one of these up for yourself. Thanks for watching as usual, plenty more Samsung content to come as usual. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also you can come follow me on my socials. I've got Twitter slash X and also I'm on Instagram and I'll see you in the next one. You.